This is part two of making a module where I go over the software that drives the system. If you haven't seen part one, link in the description below. Let's start with a demonstration of this prototype module in action, then talk about the code that makes it all work. Module is really a simple concept. Press a key, get a sound. The CV and gate inputs accomplish the same thing as the keypad for easy rhythm making. Holding down the record button, the sequence can be keyed in, similar to old speed dial. Then the sequence can be replayed by pressing the play button. Potentiometer or speed CV input controls the speed of playback. Now for a look at the code driving this module. I'm using Microchip MP Lab with their XC8 compiler, as both of these are freely available and should work on all mainstream operating systems. The first part is chip configuration. I'm not going to go into detail about this. The only real important line is this one. The chip will use its own internal oscillator, freeing up more pins for I.O. Here I define the digital input pins with more human-friendly names. Function prototype to read the keypad. The keypad is read by pulling a pin corresponding to the column on the keypad low and checking to see if a button in that column has been pressed. The function returns the value of the button pressed. Now we go back to the top of the code with the start of the main function, variable declarations, chip initializations, start of the main loop. So every time we go through the loop, we read the keypad to see if a button is pressed. For the CV and gate control scheme, we check for the gate input. If it is present, we take an analog sample of the CV pin and calculate which button the sampled voltage is equivalent to. I'll get back to the speed dialer part of the program in a minute. First, I want to cover the output to the sound chip which is handled through a switch statement that converts the numerical value to the logic levels that the sound chip expects. Back to the speed dialer. When the record button is pressed, the software will save the value into an array and waits for the button to be released before another button can be pressed. For playback, the play input triggers the software to, to go through the array with the silent spaces in between each tone. Speed of playback is controlled by reading the voltage of the speed input. The higher the voltage, the faster the playback. All that works together to make a seamless experience. I hope you enjoy this series so far. Part 3 will cover manufacturing and assembly of the finished module.